You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, Gene. Johnson. Oh, AfterBuzz TV. AfterBuzz TV. From the AfterBuzz studios in Los Angeles, California, presented by Maria Menounos and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies, this is AfterBuzz TV's The Voice After Show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. And now, another post-game wrap-up show for your favorite TV show. It's AfterBuzz TV's The Voice After Show. Welcome to AfterBuzz TV, everybody. I'm Christian Rosenberg with a very special edition of The Voice After Buzz. Joining me on the phone right now, a incredibly talented woman who, through great, just natural singing ability and awesome stage presence, got herself all the way to the semifinals of this season's The Voice. The great Kristen Merlin is joining me right now. Kristen, how are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. Thank you, you know, so much for taking the time to chat with us today. I wanted to kick things right off and kind of talk about you you like to, you know, do a little bit of bedazzling on, on your on your wardrobe, whether it's kind of like <laughs> along the belt buckle or like the collar. There's always just like a little bit there. I was kind of curious what, what you know, what, what was the inspiration behind, you know, you know what, I want this part to stick out. I was honestly just trying to keep up with the ladies because they were all <laughs> ridiculously jazzed out every time, and, and I couldn't rightfully just go out with, you know, pants and a button-up shirt. So there, there had to be something that stuck out a little bit each time. <laughs> yeah, because um, we were hearing a lot about it, actually. Um, Danny Mose was in our studio just a couple days ago, and um, she was talking about, you know, um, rooming with you and just, you know, like the relationship that she had with you on set. I was kind of curious who you um, really felt, you know, the closest with while you were, while you were there. Who did you seem to like, just, like, really gel with the most while hanging out in rehearsals or backstage or any of that? Um, there are a couple of people throughout this whole thing that yeah, I mean, everyone was like essentially a big family, but those who I would really connect with, um, Danny being one of them, we roomed together, it was awesome. Um, Emily B and I became really, really good friends, and it was so hard to, to kind of, you know, beat her out in the battle and send her packing. That was that was really tough for me. And um, but Kat Perkins, too, it, it was another one. We're, we're super close, and, and just it felt so fun just to get to know everybody and create all these friendships. Mm-hmm. Let me ask you this. I'm, I'm going to cut right to the chase, Kristen. Do you feel you were robbed last night? <laughs> well, you never want to walk away without, you know, coming out all the way on top. But I have to just keep my head up and look like, look ahead to everything that, that there is. You know, without the voice, I wouldn't have had the opportunity to be, you know, have the exposure that I've had. And mm. uh, I wouldn't have been able to make all these new friends and have all the experience with Shakira. So, robbed. I mean, I do, I do think I should have been in the top three uh, as far as, you know, how charting went and all that stuff, whatever. It, the instant save was kind of a, a something that threw me for a loop. But I, I can't be mad. I've had such a great time, and top five is nothing to sneeze at. Uh, right, definitely, without a doubt. And, and, and for all we know, you might end up, you know, getting, getting voted on to join that tour in the summer as well. So I'm sure you, you know, you. That's true. There's always that opportunity. Yeah. So I'm not done yet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's talk about your, your coach, Shakira. And I really felt, well, you know, from what I would see on TV, just a, a real genuine relationship between the two of you. And you don't see that too often. You see, you know, some coaches seem to really connect with, with their performers, but a lot of times you do see it kind of just more on a professional level. It just seemed you two just really connected well, and I was curious um, if that was the case also when the cameras were not rolling. Oh, absolutely. It was really cool. I mean, in the beginning when she had, you know, so many of us to work with, we were trying to, you know, Feel everything out and see where we stood with her, and it seemed more professional. But as it went through, and I continued on with her, it just we created such a bond, and it was absolutely what you saw on TV was that, and then some off camera. Um, it was it, incredible to have such a, a superstar be so caring and so invested in me, uh, and just want nothing but the best, and to see me succeed, and, and put so much time and effort and thought into every move we made. 
Um, so, you know, going with her from the beginning was just such a blessing, and, and I would never have changed anything. Would you, and did you, so you're saying, like, you may have never had any split thoughts of, oh, I wonder what it would have been like if I went with Usher or, you know, or something like that, or was it no, not, even, not even a thought in your mind? It was just Shakira all the way. No, it never crossed my mind. I mean, I had the opportunity to go with Adam in the beginning. And um, to be honest, I think that I went with my gut feeling for a reason. And, and I, I have no regrets. They, um, you know, during the the season, as it goes on, between, you know, like the blonde auditions and the battles, sometimes, you know, for TV time purposes, we don't necessarily see the like a, a full performance. They just kind of do like a little, a little blip. And you... <laughs> And you, like, both of your, I don't think either of your battles were shown on TV. I was the montage queen. <laughs> yeah. Did you, did you feel, like, how did you feel when you were, like, at home watching and be like, wait, I'm, they're not showing it. This isn't cool. Yeah. <laughs> My heart sank. My heart sank. You know, it's, it's a huge deal to make it onto The Voice in, in the first place. And then you're so excited and you put so much work into every performance. And there's so much preparation that goes into it. So it was tough to see such little airtime, you know, and then going into the next playoffs, you know, in fighting for your life to get into the lives, it's tough. Um, you know, I worried about I haven't had a lot of airtime. People haven't got to know me yet. But it's amazing to feel like, I mean, I have such great support that even just with all those montages and with the mic going out and, and other things, I still continued on and, and everyone kept – getting behind me and loving what I was doing. And that to me means more than any airtime. And yeah, that actually, that was a perfect segue. That was awesome. Cause I was next going to ask you about the microphone and <laughs> because yeah, we went from not really seeing too much of you in the battles and then you get to the live round and now finally America really has a chance to see you. And then like what could be considered the most famous or infamous moment in the history of the voice when the mic goes out, do you feel, looking back, that that might have ended up almost being like a blessing in disguise? Absolutely. I mean, for me, I look at everything like everything happens for a reason, you know, and people expected me to come off in a rage, and all I was doing was smiling because I still got up there and performed. I was still given that opportunity to, to do things, and for, it was awesome that I got to finish that last note because that, in my mind, completed the song. Mm -hmm. and, um, and then it showed up for everyone to see how I handle things as a professional performer, you know, it's just things happen like that in shows and you got to just roll with it. So it was, it was cool for me to, to be able to show that side. Do you, do you feel that the other people on the show, if that situation happened to them, do you feel that they would have reacted the same way as you did and stay professional? Or do you think there might've been someone that all of a sudden was starting to panic on, would panic on stage? I don't know. I mean, every pressure situation hits people differently, and they all kind of deal with it in their own ways. And um, I, I haven't seen that happen to anybody else, so I don't really know how you know how much pressure it would take to make them crumble. But I feel like we're all pretty strong performers and artists, so whichever which way, I think it would have turned out okay. Mm -hmm. One thing that I I personally you know really admired through all your performances on the show was I always felt that you were that you were kind of, you know, connected to the song. Like, I can kind of feel the song besides just hearing it from you. And obviously, that wasn't... Um, it was shown most the other night when you performed Foolish Games, where, you know, Blake even mentioned it, and you, and you brought up how, you know, the lyrics just really stuck to you in that song. Why do you think that song really stuck out to you as far as, you know, the emotion that was displayed more than others? It was actually a song that I was really nervous to take on uh, in the beginning when Shakira presented it to me um, because I couldn't connect with it. And it took a lot of soul searching and, and reworking of the song um, to come up with a, a point in my life where I could draw from mm -hmm. and, and really dig in and, and create meaning for me in that song to deliver it almost as if I wrote it, um, which was <laughs> through many hours of of deliberation and going through everything and tears that came out afterwards, you know, once I started crying while singing it, I was like, okay, I found it. <laughs> <laughs> That's the moment. No. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> um, last night, uh, Shakira, Shakira mentioned, and she's kind of mentioned a couple times also, you know, throughout the season, how 
you're not, you know, the typical country singer. And, and you know, right. and how much of, you know, kind of, you know, an inspiration that is. Along with, obviously, the, the normal pressure that is being on this show and being, you know, live in front of millions and millions of people. Um, hearing things like that, did you feel there was even more pressure on you? Or did you feel that that actually kind of relieved some of the pressure? Um, I definitely felt pressure throughout the whole competition. Um, it was not something that was always in the forefront of my mind. I never really think of, you know, me being different or, you know, mm -hmm. whatever. It's just I'm doing what I love to do, and I just hope that other people connect with that. Mm -hmm. um, and it was really nice to hear those kind of comments. We, you know, I am an inspiration to others, and, um, you know, you don't always have to fit the mold that people assume or expect to have an appreciation or have, be respected in, in what I'm doing. And that meant the world to me. Mm -hmm. Uh, so, so now, you know, we'll get ready. We'll, we'll, we'll still going to see you next week, regardless, perform in the finale, which I cannot wait for. And so, so other than, you know, other than that, you know, finale, what do you plan on, on doing next? Um, you know, perhaps gonna go, cause you're, you're, um, from Massachusetts, correct? I am. Yep. Yep. I, I, I'm a Massachusetts boy myself. So I, that's why I felt I had another connection with you right there. I'm like, yes, home state rocking it. Uh, <laughs> right, <perfect. laughs> but, um, so what do you, you know, what do you think your, your plans are, you know, going forward as far as the summertime or, you know, for the rest of, of this year, are you going to be going, you know, right into a studio or what do you think you think, what do you think you're going to be doing? Uh, I'm going to hit the ground running. You know, this is for me, a start to a new beginning and I truly feel like this is where I belong. I feel like I, I, I should be in this industry as a performer on bigger stages other than, you know, the small town bars that I was doing before. And that's what I aim to do. Um, we'll see how this whole thing pans out. Maybe I'll be on the tour this summer. Maybe I won't be. But either which way, I'm going back to performing and doing music and writing and, you know, releasing an album as soon as I can possibly do so because I think that's, that's super important for me. Like, I want to be able to express myself in my art, in my songs, uh, and keep the fans involved, you know, keep them engaged and active and, and just, continue giving them what they were believing in and moving me forward doing. And then I, I gotta, I gotta ask you, so we're down the finale next week. We're down to Jake, Josh and Christina. Who do you think is going to win? Grimmy. Really? Now, why, now, why, why do you say Grimmy? Like why you, you were, you were certain, like you were just 100% because I, I'll, I'll tell you what, that was the, that was the most honest answer that I've gotten out of anyone I've asked this season because everyone's like, well, they're all, you know, they're all so talented. Anyone could take it. You're just like, no, Grimmy. <laughs> why is that? Coming into it, um, knowing who she is, where she's coming from, what she's done in the past, her success so far, uh, and her fan base, uh, and where this is very socially, social media driven kind of competition um in the end um it, it's talent is amazing i mean that goes without saying mm -hmm. uh, and then it comes down to other things and so for that i think that it's going to be grimy all right well uh kristen i cannot thank you enough for taking the time i'm sure you're running around i mean who who are you interviewing with next because i'm sure you you got like a whole slew of interviews over the next few days um that you'll probably be traveling yeah, everywhere for everything's kind of Everything's melding together, so I don't even know which one's coming up next. But <laughs> <laughs> I'm up for all of them, and I could be more thankful, you know? Like, for people to take the time out of, of their schedules to pull me in and want to talk to me is pretty rad. Well, we, we've, you know, certainly enjoyed watching you perform, you know, throughout the season here. And, you know, and we can't wait to see you on the finale. And hopefully, you know, during next season's The Voice, maybe there'll be a point where you're kind of touring out in the L.A. area and we can get you here in the studio, because that would be awesome. That'd be awesome. All right, I mean, so, heck, if I'm even in the area not touring, I'll come in the studio. <laughs> do it. Do it. Who cares if we're filming or not? Let's just hang out. You know? <laughs> Let's just do it. Let's just do it. I love it. Kristen, thank you so much for taking the time to call in today. Of course, anyone that is, um, you know, everyone watching and listening, you can follow Kristen on Twitter, at Kristen Merlin. Kristen, thank you again so much, and can't wait to see you on the finale next week. My pleasure. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right. Again, that was Kristen Merlin, everybody. You can follow her on Twitter at Kristen Merlin. You can follow me on Twitter at CRosieVOC. And, of course, for all your AfterBuzz TV news, recaps, and gossip, you can follow them on Twitter at AfterBuzzTV. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'm Christian Rosenberg, and we'll see you later.
from executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff. We would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other after shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz you later. Thank you for watching AfterBuzz TV on YouTube. For more of your favorite after shows and interviews, subscribe to our channel here, and be sure to share your opinion on the episode in the comment section below here. We'd love to see what you guys are buzzing about. Thanks again. Buzz you later.